Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and this is going to be basically a gambling video. Now, I haven't uploaded um, very recently on my channel, I think it's been over one week since I uploaded my last one and my last one was also a pack opening video. This one will be a slightly different pack opening, uh, I'll be focusing more on the gambling component, I'll be buying a lot of really expensive stuff off the GTN and seeing whether I make my credits back and I'm going to be buying some very gambling heavy packs. For example, I bought um, gold armor packs. Uh, gr some other grand packs like the grand companion pack and some other stuff and um, basically the point is just to pay an insane price for these things and see kind of whether they're worth it or not I don't expect them to be worth it but the thing about these types of packs are you either win big or you lose big and as you guys can see I'm gonna spend like hundreds of millions of credits in this video and um, now this video was footage that I recorded quite a while ago. I was planning on making a video, but it kind of just sat there. As, it, as I said earlier, I got really busy, haven't been able to upload a lot. And so I found this old footage and I thought, you know what, I'll uh, discard the recording I had earlier and just make some new recording because I don't really even remember what I got out of these. But we'll see what comes out of these first 10 gold packs here. I paid a good 100 something million for them. And the first armor set we have here is the Emperor Mantle's armor set. Uh, it's a decent armor set, probably one of the really nice Eternal Throne type ones because, you know, you want to look like an Emperor or whatever, but uh, surprisingly doesn't sell as high as I thought it would. Hey, what are the chances? Here's the Resourceful Engineer. This one's a really crappy one, doesn't sell for much. Definitely not worth the 15 million credits I paid for the pack, but um, that one's also out of the same cartel pack as the Emperor Mantle, so it's kind of surprising to get both of those. And here we have the Intelligence Officer's armor set, a straight up one from the Cartel Market. I think it's available in the Agent's Bundle pack right now. It costs quite a lot of Cartel coins, but that doesn't translate too well with, into credits on the GTN. Ah, and there's the RNG we know and love. Uh, here's the exact same armor set out of these gold packs. What are the chances? I mean, with that kind of RNG, I should be getting Revan Reborn and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, out of the next one here, not really making my credits back so far. Um, I don't remember whether I got lucky in any of these. I mean, I opened these packs a long, long time ago. Oh, okay, this one's a crappy one, the Sanctified Caretaker. We don't have some, uh, we don't have many very good Jedi Knight armor sets, and that is definitely not one of them. Uh, and it does not sell well on the GTN either. The Elegant Duelist. Uh, I remember selling that armor set. I mean, the one I got out of here, I think I sold it for a good 15 something million credits. So definitely made my credits back with that one. I'm not sure why it sold so high, but it definitely did. So that was a pretty good one, yeah. That's the good thing about these. I've sold a lot of these, so I can actually tell you how much they sold for. Um, this Series 5, th the thing about the cybernetic armor set is it's super, super nice. It never sells well. I still am sitting on that armor set. I've been trying to sell it, but people do not buy that um, cybernetic armor set for some reason, even though it literally looks so cool. I mean, I use so much cybernetic armor all over, uh, across every single character, no matter what it is, but uh, people don't seem to bite for that one. And there's another cybernetic armor set. That one is probably the nicest because it doesn't have very much uh, stuff sticking out. It actually looks really good. Oh, there we go. That was a lucky one. The Primeval Stalker. Definitely one of the more popular armor sets. Uh, I'll just, I guess I'm just going to run through some of these uh, prices here on the GTN. I'll speed up the video here because this is some of the boring stuff. But um, it's selling for a lot higher than what it actually sold for. Uh, for example, you'll see the Primeval Stalker, I think, go up for like 50 million. Oh, there we go. I bought some of those cybernetic stuff. See, I love that kind of stuff. And uh, I think if people aren't going to pay high prices for it, might as well like give it away to newbies. I often do that. Like if there's something really cool and it's not selling well, I'll just give it to kind of a new player on Jewelman Cost or something because I know new players will probably enjoy that stuff. It's, um, it's super cool. But uh, the thing is, a lot of this stuff actually sells for a lot um, less than what you're seeing here. I mean, in order to be competitive with other prices, you have to undercut and stuff like that. And... Um, doesn't end up selling for that high. For example, the Primeval Stalker, I only ended up selling that for like 30 million, even though it was being auctioned up here for like 50 plus. Uh, doesn't sell that high, unfortunately. All right, so I think I'm gonna uh, jump over to some um, some uh, new packs. I'm not sure what I open next, but uh, I think I definitely went on to sell some of these Grand Chance Cubes to try to make my credits back. Uh, I did not make my credits back with that one, so in case you were wondering, I spent like 170 something million credits. I made back, I think maybe in my estimation, 100, 110 million, so I lost a few credits there. Definitely not worth it, but uh, I decided to go ahead and gamble again. So here I'm going to buy some more gold armor sets, I think. 
Um, oh no, here we go. We're going to open some grand packs. What I often do in my rotation of looking up for good deals on the GTN is I'll just type in grand into the search bar and it brings up uh, not only the grand chance cube so I can see if they're going cheap, but some of these grand packs as well. And we're going to be seeing these grand packs pop up time and time again on the cartel market. So you might want to go ahead and look um, uh, when those packs get on the cartel market, go ahead and look on the GTN and see if you can find a good deal. I saw these Acolyte, uh, these Grand Shadow Packs, and they do, um, the Shadow Packs are one of the nicest, and they so they have some really, really nice items in there. I thought I would go ahead and try my luck with those. So here I am um, in a really nicely decorated stronghold. I really like this background scenery, so I decided to go ahead and open there. And uh, we have three Grand Companion Packs, and then I think three uh, Shadow Packs. So we'll see if we get lucky. With these Companion Packs, I'm pretty sure I was really hoping for the Act Dog Handler License. I got the Malvar here. This one sold for like 10 million, so it was okay, but I think I paid more for it than, uh, than I ended up getting back. And then the next one here is the... The H1K1. This one sold for around 4 million, so I really lost a lot of credits there. I'm just uh, moving around in my chair. Okay, let's open up the next one. And in this next one I got, come on, Act Dog, the Exobore. Okay, I think I remember getting an Act Dog. Maybe it'll come up later. Um, but anyway, so there we go. Um, the Exobore Handler License. That one sold. I, I don't think I actually ended up selling that. I just put it in my Legacy Bay and never ended up selling it because uh, at this point in time, the Manipulator Packs were still very popular and there was a lot on the GTN. So I thought I would wait for those to run out before I opened them. Here we are with the Shadow Packs. I'm hoping for something really cool out of these. Um, the emote worthy, oh, that's crappy. Uh, the Rishi Pirate Canyon, that was, a uh, Pirate Cannon, that was a decoration I actually didn't have, so I was really happy to collect that. And the Yavin Floor Lamp, a really simple decoration, but sells for a lot on the GTN. And some more decorations here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, the decorations are nice to get, but they're definitely not going to bring me back the credits I paid for them. And also, the, the problem with these grand packs are they cost too much on the cartel market. So that obviously two problems with that. Firstly, if you're paying cartel coins for them, you're, you're paying way too much for what you're getting. And secondly, people want uh, you to pay insane prices on the GTN. So uh, they won't really give you good deals. Uh, it's unfortunate because the grand packs could be really good. The grand nightlife packs were amazing uh, with some really, really awesome RNG. I'm talking like gold items out of every pack. So hopefully we'll see some RNG like that again with the future grand packs. The next one is the grand explorer packs. Really looking forward to that one. All right, so we have a new gold armor set here. I bought 10 of them and we're starting off with a really awesome uh, armor set. Here we go. I remember getting this one, the Revenite Champion. Uh, this one is a super special armor set because it's not available out of any cartel pack. Can you believe that? They actually made an exclusive armor set that came out of the Galactic Legends pack. Um, so that was in the, officially a cartel pack and that's rarely ever actually on the cartel market. It only got brought back like two or three times last year. And the Mandalorian Clansmen's. Uh, the Mandalorian Clansmen's armor set would be cool if they didn't keep reskinning it, but they keep reskinning those designs and giving to, giving it to us like as random mob drops. So it kind of devalues the whole armor set. And the Apex Sovereign. This one's a really underrated one. The upper armor body, uh, the upper body armor is super cool, but um, people don't really acknowledge it as being that cool. So you can actually find some really good deals on the GTN for it. But uh, you'll find that it works really well with the Jedi Knight. And uh, the Humble Hero, oh my gosh, that's so bad. It costs like 1,000 something cartel coins on the cartel market, but uh, no one wants it because it's so ugly. I mean, it's not even good for Jedi. The Commander Vizsla is cool though, because if someone wants a knockoff version of the Shea Vizsla, they can just buy the Commander Vizsla one. It's uh, still pretty expensive, but much cheaper than the original one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. One of the reasons I haven't been able to make videos had a terrible cough. Uh, the Thermal Retention, oh. That's another bad one. And the life divestments. Oh. Yeah, this is the reason I don't really open gold armor packs anymore, and I definitely wouldn't recommend paying insane prices on the GTN for them. But you'll be surprised as to how many people buy them. I mean, I'm telling you, you can sell gold armor packs uh, for 20, 25 million. I've even seen people sell them for 30 to 35 million. They sent me screenshots and stuff. It's crazy. People are really willing to try their luck like I am. But I, I waited for them to drop under 15 mil before buying them. Uh, but some people are willing to pay almost double that. 
uh, the basic women's underwear. Uh, a, once again, a really simple armor set, but that sold for 20 million. I actually sold that for 20 million, so that was pretty good. All right, so we'll skip through this and we'll move on to um, the next one. All right, guys, so I'm back with some more gambling footage. Uh, the extent to which I will gamble um, is crazy, I'm telling you. Like, this game is so addicting sometimes, so I'm really happy I have these types of credits to just expend on this stuff. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. As so far, I have not made my credits back, so if anything, this video should serve as a deterrent to people who are, uh, you know, worked hard for their credits, grinding them off heroics and stuff, and now are looking to spend them. I mean, spend them a little bit more wisely than I did. But here I am again, 7 million. I saw these things going for pretty cheap, and I decided to um, not open them, actually. I mean, I, I don't know. I, like, I didn't do so well last time getting those decorations, so I decided not to. I have some common sense, but I did want to open these Grand Companion Packs again. Really going for the Yak Dog, and I think I am going to get it. I remember getting it. So we have the K1Z3N. Uh, I, didn't, I don't even think I tried to sell that because it's still available from the Eternal Command Packs. So uh, I couldn't give you a proper estimation. But the ISO 5R, this one is a really, really good one. I mean, that will sell for like 10, 12 million. And there we go, the act dog. I knew I got it. This sold for 70 million credits, so finally I got a win out of this one. Uh, my first one out of opening, out of spending a lot of credits and gambling with a lot of packs, but I got a win out of that one. And I even got the ISO 5R, so that was really good. Then we got the personal war bot, which would um, sell for like four or five mil, but it's a really, really bad companion. But anyways, uh, finally got a win, got to end this off on a high note. Um, but that wasn't enough to recover my losses for some of the other ones, so still ended up overall at a loss. Uh, basically goes to show, don't gamble your hard-earned credits, it's not really worth it. Um, neither is it to spend the cartel coins. Some of the best stuff to spend on would be like things like the Grand Nightlife packs. I was talking about that earlier, those had amazing RNG. So I guess like you know when a new pack comes, check out this channel, I always do a pack opening, and we can see whether the RNG is good or not. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of gambling video. It was some old footage, I kind of didn't want to let it go to waste, so I decided to go ahead and do some new narration over it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.